of the sun. A striped wool sack. Oh, let him be. Mappa Pandiga is waiting for us. Wow, Tig. Let's go. Let's see who's faster. Huh. Have you learned how to run? Oh, I'm gonna wait for you. Hi. Tig, come on, what's the problem? Seriously, not again, man. Look, I can leap there and back. Just jump. We're gonna be late. The striped one is afraid of heights again. <laughs> Let's take a roundabout. We'll have plenty of time. Oh, of course. A roundabout. Much faster. We'll be there by night. <laughs> wow, awesome. <laughs> one gonna be late. Gonna be the Well, well, where is it? Okay. Ah, oh, here it is. I found it. All right, kids. When my grandfather was a bear cub, a tiger lived in the giant forest full of trees, beautiful lakes, and formidable peaks. The tiger. He was weak and chicken-hearted, so nobody was afraid of him. Once, a severe drought came. The tiger thought, Oh, the sun must be the strongest animal in the world. I wish I'd become this strong. So the tiger decided to lay paws on the skin of the sun. But the skin was guarded by a fierce bear. Uh, but Pandiga, was he as fierce as you? No, no. A saber-toothed bear. He resides in his big black cave and protects the way of the stone claw, the place where the sun is nesting. So the tiger sneaked past the saber-toothed bear while he was asleep and put on the skin of the sun. The tiger became the most fearless animal in the forest. All the animals and the tiger bowed their heads to him. It was on Equilibrium Day, when night is equal to day. I want to get this skin, too. Tig, I know where the stone claw is. I saw the sun setting down there. And today's Equilibrium Day. The Hurry skin up. of the sun? Thank, Thank you, you Mama, Mama Pig. I have to get this skin. Lil. What do you think? Was it for real? All the things that Pandiga told us about? Sure. You heard it, man. Well, I wish I'd become the bravest tiger in the whole forest. How long do you think we've been running for? Huh? What was that? Hey, Tig. We're gonna get the skin of the sun for you, and you'll become the bravest one on Earth. Tig? Tig, what is it now? You just have to walk on this very huge, very wide log. Come on, come on. That's right. Good job. Don't look down. Just look at me. That's it.
Leo, are you okay? We've surfaced! Where are we? Well, we're... It seems that... We're lost. We are? Where should we go now? Back home? Up the river? Oh no, we're never gonna make it at this rate. Okay, it's not the way! And here is not the way either. Where is it, huh? Aha! Look over there! What did Baba Pandiga tell us? Come and put your paw on the sun tree in the evening, and the way will be enlightened. Run along towards the sunset! <gasps> Leo! Look! <laughs> Whoa! I always knew the stories were true. Uh, Tig, <laughs> stop talking! <laughs> Let's run! The cave of the saber tooth bear! We can't go further! Hmm. How can we climb this mountain? Hey guys! Over there! Alright, fellas! Everybody climb up this tree! Not me! Sun is gonna set soon! Faster! Faster! Run, Tig! We gotta get there before the sun goes down! Leo, I think we'd better go back. Come on, Tig! Forget it! Stupid skin. Maybe it doesn't even exist. No, skin? What are you talking about? It must be there. Mappa said to catch the sun before it goes down. So run! Come on, come on, we're almost there. The rock is so close. Oh, wow. Look at this. We're so high. Is this the place? Keep quiet. This is the cave of the saber-toothed bear. Whose cave? You mean the saber tooth? Oh, no thanks, I'll pass. Me neither. Look there. The stone claw. Let's go! <laughs> Leo! Careful! Uh, you know what? You better go on your own. Wait there! I'll bring the skin! The skin of the sun! I'll be the mightiest in the whole forest! Come on! Go down now! What was that noise? Ah, the spotted one! <laughs> what are you doing here? What, you, what, what do you, you want? What are you doing here? The skin is mine! Buzz off all you can! No way! I'm here to get it! And I won't leave without it! What? You won't leave? Well, we're gonna help you! Leo! I'm coming! Leo! I can't! Pig! Hurry up! I'm losing grip! I can't do it! I'm sorry, Leo! Bear. I don't know. I was too busy running away. I didn't notice any saber tooth bears. You know, Tig, you don't need no skin. You're the bravest tiger in the world. Oh, oh, sounds like a saber tooth bear. <laughs> Keep cool. That's my mom. That's your mom? Quite a mom you have. <gasps> That must be the saber tooth bear! No, no. That one's my mom. We better get home, and fast! 
Everybody has a skin, but to make it glow like the sun, you need to find your path. <clears throat> Every grass blade in Tiger is alive. That's because hidden inside it is the spirit of the tiger. Hidden? How is that? Just like that. <laughs> the spirit of the tiger is everywhere. In the grass and trees, on mountaintops, and even the deepest caves. The mysterious cave. Okay, here. No, they'll find me here. And here's where they found me the last time. And this was the one before that. Oh! But here! No way they'll find me here! Leo! Look at this! Hmm. Tig, follow me! Oh dear! Dear! Oh dear! So, where's Mila? <laughs> Tig, have you seen her? Ah, oh, Mila, when will you learn to hide properly? The same place for the third time? Mila... Come on, don't be upset! I know! Let's play tag! No, no, no! One more time, please! The last one? Mila, this was the last time. The last, last time, then! The very last time! I swear! Six, seven, oh, eight, where should I go? nine, where ten, should I go? eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen! Ready or not, here I come! Aha! Uh -huh. Dig! I found you! Oh, hey, that's not fair! You counted too fast! No, 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 no! Here! There! There! No, 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 no! There! What should I do? They'll find me here, too! Oh, oh a cave! I'm gonna hide so well, they'll never find me! Whoa! What darkness! This is a good spot to hide. Huh? Uh, what is this? Is anyone here? Uh, I think I'm lost. Can you please show me the way back home? Uh, thanks. So, does this mean that I should go there? Lovely tail and cute ears. <gasps> oh, what is this? Oh, I need to go home. But which way? This way? No, it's not. Is that the way? No, not here either. Where do you think she would hide? It's weird. She's not here either. Leo! Look, I found some tracks. Wow, it's Mila's tracks. Follow me! Whoa. Uh-uh, I wouldn't go inside. Leo, wait! She's definitely not in there. Tig? Wait a sec. Look, it's Mila's flower. She's in there. Let's go, Tig! You sure? No way! Leo! Oh, come on! No, no! Oh, fine, you win, Leo! I'm coming! Ah! Oh, wow! Leo! Leo, you there? I'm here, Tig. You okay? Well, I didn't lose my tail. <laughs> Leo, 
Where are we? We're in a cave, and Milo is definitely here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so amazing! Oh, wow! Rah. Look, Tig! Whoa. Here are the tracks! Awesome! Tig, hurry up! <laughs> whoa! Whoa! Ah, Leo! Wait for me! Don't leave me alone! <sighs> Mila, Mila! <sighs> Can we take a break? No, Tig. The tracks, they disappeared. I'm tired. Help! You hear that? Leo! Tig! That's Mila! She's over there! Oh, okay, fine. Right behind you. <laughs> Why did I climb into this cave? <laughs> Milo, we're coming! Leo! I'm in here, guys! I'm here! <laughs> Leo! Oh. Oh, no. I'm in here, guys! I'm here! Mila! In here! <laughs> <laughs> Joking. Tell me that you just didn't get us lost. Oh, okay. Don't panic. You can figure this out. Okay. Uh, think, think. Uh, this way. Mila? Don't be afraid. I can do this. Don't worry. I'll think of something. I'm not afraid. Well, at first I was a little scared. But then I asked, and he helped me. And here you guys are. Wait. Who helped you, Mila? Well, I don't really know. I just thought that I was trapped, oh, look, but these pretty thing. crystals started to show me the way! Crystals? Mila, I think I got it! It's the spirit of the taiga! Remember Pandiga told us about him? He lives inside grass and trees, on mountain summits, and even in the deepest of caves and stuff! I know how to get out of here! We'll get help from the spirit of the taiga! The spirit of the taiga is the soul of nature. He's everywhere. Every grass blade and every rock is full of life. The spirit of the taiga cannot be seen, but he can be felt. He's always at your side, and he will help you, as long as you believe in him. The spirit of the taiga? Seriously? That's just a legend. Fairy tales made for children. That's it. There's no spirit. You're so gullible. Guess we're just gonna have to stay here forever. Tig, wait. Oh, spirit of the taiga, would you please help us to find a way home? Now, guys, follow me! Leo, wait for us! <laughs> Leo, come on. Are you really gonna follow some bug? Like, he can guide us outside. Leo... Tig, we'll end up staying here forever because of you! Why me? What did I do? Can't you ask the spirit of yours to guide us out of here a little bit faster? I'm getting hungry. Ask him yourself. Fine, I will. Nothing tricky about that. Listen, spirit, would you mind hurrying it up a little bit? <laughs> See that? See that? Wow, Tig. Okay. Great job. Couldn't you be more polite? Uh, right. Pretty, please? Oh, Leo, what are those things? Those are... Those are bats! Ah! <laughs> Ha <laughs> 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 
Hey, wait! Hooray! We made it! <sighs> well, Dick, how about that? Exactly what you asked for! Really fast! Right. In the end, he's really nice, that spirit of the taiga. <laughs> and you didn't believe in him! <laughs> <laughs> Not true. I believed him. I was joking. Let's go home! Hurry up! You're unbelievable! The today. spirit of the taiga is everywhere. But only those who genuinely believe in miracles are really able to see him. Tag, <laughs> 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 you're it! Not fair! Cause you, you took a shortcut! Hi guys! I made a song, you know. You wanna hear it? <laughs> a song? <laughs> Can you even Me sing? Mila, well, let's play tag instead. <laughs> Tig is it? No, I'm not. Not anymore. <laughs> Just you wait. <laughs> 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 Winter tale. No, oh, King. Kids, today I will tell you a very old story I know about a bear and a magical song. Hear that, Mila? About a song right up your alley. <laughs> it happened a long time ago. There lived a bear who was very strong and kind taking care of the entire taiga and making sure everything was in order. But then winter came, bringing the blizzard with it. It howled and raged and covered the forest in a snowy blanket. All the animals hid in their burrows, and the bear grew sad and lonely. He wandered around the forest all by himself and bellowed in a terrible voice, disturbing everyone's sleep and scaring baby animals. Suddenly, a small bird flew over. It sat on a tree branch next to the bear and sang a song. It sang about winter ending and spring coming back about the sun warming up the earth again, about plants bursting into bloom and animals leaving their burrows to play. The bear listened to the song until he fell asleep. And ever since that time, as soon as winter comes, the bear climbs into his lair and sleeps there until... <sighs> Papa Pandiga, Spring. is it true that the bear sleeps with his paw in his mouth? Uh, how am I supposed to know? There is no creature fearless enough to sniff around the bear's home. Tig, what do you think? Is it a front paw that the bears have in their mouth? Or a hind one? No, a front one. Hind paws are too far. But to know for sure, we gotta wait till Pandiga falls asleep. Why wait? We can take a peek at Beelzy and see everything. Leo! Are you sure about that? There's nothing to be afraid of. I'll just take a peek and get out. <gasps> Leo! Leo! <gasps> What should we do 
to do. Here goes. Beelzy will fall asleep again if he listens to a lullaby. Can I be the one to sing? Be my guest. Go ahead and sing. Why don't you dance while you're at it? This is serious business here. When I was small, my mom used to tell me stories before bedtime. Bingo! A boring story. That's exactly what we need. It'll put him right to sleep. Leo, but how are we going to lure him in? Piece of cake. Snowball tree berries. <laughs> In position, everyone! Dig! Do it! Cuba? Yara! Don't be scared! Fire away! In the winter, when the weather is especially cold, the evil mistress of Taiga comes into the forest. And the devious blizzard. Ooh, ooh, whoosh! I'm the devious blizzard. Ooh, ooh, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Ooh. And the blizzard doesn't like forest inhabitants at all. The only ones who are safe from her are those hiding at home. Deep in sleep. And then one day, a baby bear sneaked out of his lair. He started wandering around the forest and looking for friends to play with. And the devious blizzard saw the baby bear and swooped down, howling. I'll freeze you. I'll get you. I'll freeze you. I'll get you. I'll freeze you. I'll get you. Right. I'll freeze you. It'll get you. I'll freeze you. I'll freeze you! I'll get you! I'll freeze you! And I'll only you. one little bird didn't I'll get scared. Get it sat on a tree branch close to the blizzard and started singing a song about the spring and the warm sun. The blizzard got scared of the spring and faded away. And at that moment, the blizzard disappeared! Peek, disappear! Huh? Right! No! Not the spring! Please! I'm so afraid of the spring! No! Not the spring! Oh! I'm afraid! No! I'm not the spring! He walked the baby bear back home and sang him a lullaby. Leo! I can't sing! I don't know how to! We do. I don't think he likes Jara's singing. I see that. But my singing's even worse. Yara, let me try. Wait, Mila. What are you doing? Who's gonna play the baby bear? The devious blizzard will howl and wail and dress all the trees in a delicate veil. The earth will put on a fluffy white hat. Sleep tight, baby bear. Rest your head. Have no fear. Have wonderful. I thoughts. don't think he's falling asleep. Like a mole in his burrow, like a fox in his hole. And afterwards, winter will bid you goodbye. And spring will arrive in the blink of an eye. Green trees and bright flowers and murmuring creeks. The air is so warm, but for now. Well done, Mila! That was so great! Thank you so much, Magic Birdie. How should I grab him? Gently. Careful not to wake him up. Boy, heavy. Here goes. Hey, thanks, Mila, for having my back. <laughs> Come on, it's nothing. So, is 
Tee Tee up? With his front paw in his mouth! Mila, why didn't you tell us you were such a great singer? My turn! Oh, sleep tight, baby! Bear, rest your head, have no fear! <laughs> oh, come on! What's so funny? I'm not that bad! <laughs> Like, like mole, mole in his burrow, burrow like fox in, in his hole. And afterwards, winter will bid you goodbye. And spring will arrive in the blink of an eye. The air's so warm, but for now you should sleep. And that's how a good song can make... <laughs> can make a miracle. The Silver River. You. Are you sick? Oh no. I was just having such a dream. A dream? What was it about? I was flying over a silver river. And it was so awesome. <laughs> a flying leopard? I like to see that. <laughs> and then? What happened then? And then? And then Tig woke me up. Oh, hey, Leo. I think I know where you can find your silver river. <gasps> the Silver River! Just like in my dream! <gasps> Whoa! Leo! Leo! No! Leo! <laughs> this is just a bunch of moths! Come on, Leo, there's no reason to get so upset. It was just a dream! It wasn't just any dream! It was the best dream ever! And I was flying in it! Oh dear, we've upset our friend! And on his birthday, too! Um. Mappa Pandiga, can we ask you for some advice? Today is Leo's birthday. Um. And he really um. wants to see the Silver River really badly. So I tried to take him to a river as a present, but it failed. The Silver River? <laughs> Few animals get a chance to see it. So, wait a minute, Mappa. Does the Silver River really exist? Let me tell you a story. A long, long time ago, there was a salmon named Mazu. He was swimming around the seas and rivers, maintaining peace and order and helping those in need. Mazu came to have many friends, but one day he saw a bird soaring over the river and also wanted to fly. Mazu jumped up but couldn't take off and fell back into the water. He then became sad and descended to the very bottom. Mazu's friends wanted to help him after all the good he's done. So they asked the river to make his dream come true. The river then turned silver and lifted him up, and the salmon started flying above the water. Ever since that time, once in his life, every salmon follows his dream upriver but only those who've earned true friendship by doing good deeds are fortunate enough to find the Silver River. You've already made Leo the most important and most valuable gift in the world, and Leo will soon realize that. You just need to practice patience and give your friend Leo some more time. Guys, you've heard the round one. They've gone and given the spotted one the most valuable gift in the world. We have to take that gift away! <laughs> <laughs> and how can we take it if we don't know what it is? We'll make sure the spotted one gives it to us by choice! 
<laughs> we'll lure him into the most dangerous place we can find. And then you'll give him a scare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good I'll idea. save him, yeah. and then he will give me that valuable thing as a thank you. <laughs> and, and what is that dangerous place? It's uh, the Black Rock. Wow, the, the Black, Black Rock. Rock. What was the spotty dreaming of? <laughs> to see the Silver River. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what he's going to see. <laughs> 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 Leopards don't fly, but I did fly. Oh, hi, Leo. <laughs> uh, great weather today, isn't it? Uh, you know, in this weather, the Silver River looks especially the cool. Silver River? Martin, did you just say the Silver River? Have you seen it? Oh, sure. I could show it to you if you want. Wow, of course I want to. Leo! Leo! Where could he go? Leo! <laughs> ah, hey, watch it, okay? Oh, I can see Leo! And the Martins. Where are they going? They are marching towards the Black Rock. What? Towards the Black Rock? Hmm, something's not right. Come on, we have to follow them. <laughs> So, uh, where's the Silver River? Go! Go over there, to the very edge! I can't see anything!
It's not the river that I found! I found the most important and the most valuable present on Earth! I found true <laughs> friends! <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha